welcome to the session of relocation and linking concept in linkers let us start with the learning outcomes of this session are to illustrate the basic terminologies of linking and to differentiate the translated linking and loading addresses which we are going to use in linking and linkers and loaders let us see now that what are the execution steps of a program basically the execution steps are following the three things that is a translator linker and a loader what the translator does the translator of a program which is translating the source program into the object program and the linker performs usually two things that is linking and relocation now what is linking this linking does the linking of all the other programs or the modules which are required for its execution for a program so that it is doing the linking and relocation it is relocating the program to execute to a specific memory area which is allocated to it for a primary memory and the loader the loader is loading the program in the memory for the purpose of execution we know that whenever a program is executing it is executing from the primary memory only so the loading part of that is has done by this loader now see the schematic of this program execution the input is provided as a source program here to the translator it is converting that in an object program which we may call as a target program that is given as an input to the linker again what the linker is doing it is linking all the object modules all the programs which are requires for the execution so that executable program is generated which is in the form of binary we call it as a binary program and that binary program is given as an input to the loader the loader loads the program into the memory and then that binary program which is loaded in the memory is executed from that now let us see some terminologies used for the program entity at various different times already we have seen that the three things are there that is translator linker and the loader so accordingly the addresses of the programs may change now the first address we which we are seeing is translation time or translated address so the address which is assigned by the translator whenever the translator is reading the source program and it is converting that into the object program at that time whatever the addresses are given those we are calling as translation time address now that program is given as an input to the linker also so linker may change the addresses accordingly so the linked address means these are the addresses which are assigned by the linker why because the linker is linking all the other modules or the other programs which are used for the execution so it may change the addresses now the loader which we call it as a load time address so the address which is assigned by the loader whenever the program has loaded from into the memory at that time also that address may change now the origins the translated origin means it is the address of the origin assumed by the translator whenever translator is translating the source program into the object program at that time it is assuming the address from the beginning and accordingly it changes the addresses so whatever that address is there we call it as a translated origin this is the address which is specified by the programmer in an origin statement if we are considering an assembler because we know that in assembler origin statement is used where your program origin starts so similarly the linked origin so this means address of the origin assigned by the linker while producing a binary program whenever a binary program is given as an input so it the linking process goes on so during that whatever the origin address is taking that we call it as a linked origin and the load origin means similarly address of the uh, origin assigned by the loader while loading the program for the execution whenever the program starts its execution at that time the actual load origin is taking place now usually the linked and the load origins may differ from translated origin translated origin the translator is converting from source to target target program or the object binary program 
what are the reasons why the linked and load origins may differ the reasons are it may happen that same set of translated addresses may have been used by different object models of the program this results conflict in the memory if the two modules are using the same address because we know that the modules are different so accordingly the memory allocation may change another reason is the operating system may require that the program should execute specific area of the memory we know that whenever some specific or the system programming functions are there or the modules are there the operating system is specifying some fixed memory area where those functions or the programs are running so if that is the case then also the origin the linked origin and the load origin may differ so this may require change in its origin thus changing the execution start address and symbol addresses those are changing accordingly therefore the the changes in the origin done by linker and loader both let us see an example see this is a normal program assembler program where this is our source program and this is the target program which is generated where the addresses are generated all these are generated and the start statement that is start 500 it is working as an origin so where it is specifying the location counter address as 500 so now 500 is a translated address the translator has taken 500 as the translated address where it is taking it is taking it is starting by this lo this pointer now here from this statement the location or the addresses are changing you can see accordingly okay so as we are saying start 500 our program starts at this location so 500 is our beginning and accordingly our program addresses are changing here we can see that those are incrementing accordingly so take an example see the label a or the symbol a is defined here what is this a it is declaring a storage the one word it is allocating now what is the address at that location that is 540 so at location 540 the symbol a has declared so the memory is this one so here whenever we are using read a so read is nothing but it is having instruction now 9 now the first operand is not present the second operand a is indicating the address which is a translated address here so this 540 is used here this is the translated address now see if the address changes while linking as 900 here instead of 500 our linker changes the origin address linked origin as 900 what will happen pause the video and think what about the other one like like here if 540 is there does it changes think on it yes it will change how it will change it will change accordingly as earlier 500 is the origin it is 540 accordingly if 900 is the linked origin then the value at this one is 940 and this changes here accordingly because all these values are change, changing accordingly and that will automatically reflects here so the value is not 540 at that case the value is 940 now program relocation consider that aa is a set of absolute addresses these may be instruction address or data address the address may be anything either it may be a instruction address or it might be the data address it should not be null means instruction or data occupy memory words with specific address we have seen here the example these are the instructions so these are occupying the memory again this these are the data so these are occupying the memory now the address sensitive program what do you mean by address sensitive program it contains address sensitive instructions what are these one the instruction which contains the addresses which are part of these absolute addresses which are the instruction address or data address similarly address constant is also there what do you mean by address constant a data word which contains an address now the address sensitive program this address sensitive program which is executing correctly if 
the start address of the memory area allocated to it is same as its translated origin then we call it as a address sensitive program so if start address is equal to translation address then it is a address sensitive program so thus to execute correctly from any memory area address used in each address sensitive instruction must be corrected this we call it as a program relocation because whenever the address changes the all other addresses are also changing why it is address sensitive so the definition of program relocation is the process of modifying the addresses used in the address sensitive instructions of a program such that the program can execute correctly from the designated area of memory so wherever the program is loading in the memory it has to execute accordingly no instructions are affected for that one therefore we call it as program that is called as a program relocation so what we can say if linked origin is not equal to translated origin then relocation is performing similarly if load origin is not equal to linked origin then relocation is performed but who is performing this relocation this is performed by linker and this is performed by the loader and in general linkers are always performing relocation sometimes the loaders are not performing those loaders we are calling as absolute loaders where the loading is not changing the relocation is not happening at the loader one so consider this example what is there in this example 500 is the linked origin 500 is the translated origin and 900 is the linked origin so 540 will become a translation time address and 940 will become the linked time address so accordingly the origin origin and the addresses are changing these are the references thank you